What's good everybody? Welcome back to the Cloud Slayer channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, got the camera working. Thank goodness for that. Uh, thank, thank, shout out to my fiance. She found my other band. Been looking for that thing for a while now. Um, found it on Saturday. Um, but anyway, he's going to be able to do some speed bench today. So if you never uh, use the bench press with some bands, Hey man, welcome welcome to this uh, this stuff here. The hardest part about it is probably setting up the bands. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. We always start with the bar and then we're gonna wait, work our way up to the, some of the weight that we do. Um, it's not gonna be much. It's probably just gonna be a band and maybe at most 25 pounds on each side. Um, at the top, uh, the bands add about 100 pounds, so it gets lighter at the bottom, and then you go up there. But the, the, the point of this is to deload, give you, get rid of some of that stress, but also work on the speed at the same time, right? Uh, even though you're doing a lot less weight than you would do normally, it's going to create a great uh, uh, a pump, a pretty good pump on, on your chest. And um, on this one, um, you want to do uh, less... Uh, less rest in between sets. This, that's what I like to do. Um, and you're also going to uh, alternate um, between grips. So every every set, you're going to change your grip up from uh, wide to normal to uh, close grip. And then back out and then back in. So th this one, you're going to do a set of 16, but you're going to do them as much as uh, as fast as possible. So our biggest rest periods are going to be every third set. So on the third, after the third set, um, with minimal amount of rest in between, usually I like to just set it down real quick, switch my grip, and then go again. Um, the faster I get through it, um, the the better I feel and the the sicker the pump. But uh, you know, don't, don't be don't be afraid to give yourself 10 to 30 seconds, right? But um, when you get into after that third set, you for sure take that 30 seconds, uh, 30 to 45 seconds. So 45 seconds being the most, 30 seconds going to be the least amount so that, you know, we, we want to try to keep constant tension, but we're going to work through this as fast as we can because, that, you know, that's the whole goal is to get faster, right? Um, the faster you're able to move the weight, uh, theoretically, I guess, is, you know, uh, Theoretically, you should be stronger when you when you move up to the weights that slow you down. So um, it creates it creates a lot more explosion off the chest and stuff like that too. So um, it, it, it will be a challenge. I haven't done this in a while. Um, I did the blue uh, purple bands last time, and it was so shaky. So I I don't know how how this is gonna feel or anything like that. But we're going to do it anyways. And so. Um, for if it's your first time, uh, I would say watch out for uh, the shakiness. I would do, maybe do uh, one to two sets of, you know, just getting used to it. Just getting used to the shake and uh, how you do that. Getting the bands to be set up into a position that's straight up and down from uh, your chest all the way to the top. Um, because if you have that those bands set too far back, it'll try to pull the bar that way so up toward, back towards your face because that's where the band tension is going towards so you want to try to line up with whatever um, you have set up to hold your bands I'm going to show you guys real quick I have it so I have it set up with um, um, just some uh, dumbbells and yeah, it's about 85 pounds each side so um, those things will pretty much lift up off the ground so for me like I don't add on any extra weight to set it into a certain position because it'll naturally go with it so when I push up at the top those things will pretty much glide onto the uh, the pavement so um, I don't know they say 100 pounds but it seems like it's more especially if I'm able to pick that those things up off the ground at the top of the rep but you know, whatever, I'm not going to question it, I don't really care, but, um, so, we'll, we'll do that, switch grips, uh, and like I said, it'll, uh, when I pick it up, go towards, um, where up my, my pressing point's going to be, um, it'll, it should line up with it, and it usually does, so, uh, without further ado, let's jump back into it, uh, jump into this video.
so um, don't know if anybody knows noticed or not but uh, I did all those sets simultaneously in the warm-ups just to simulate um, the, the actual lift when we do this thing in, in those sets those certain amount of sets so um, it's gonna be this entire workout it's not gonna go up any more than this it's just gonna be the 25s on each side with the bands and uh, every third set I'm gonna take a little bit longer break um, I'm gonna show this whole thing in real time so that uh, well in between the sets I'll, I'll blank out the, the third set but those those three those three sets each I'm going to videotape the whole thing so that uh, you know this is that's more so of what to expect when you're doing this this workout as well so um, yeah let's jump back into it guys able to do like banded 225 or some some pretty fast reps before so uh, we got it's safe to say that I got much work ahead of me and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna plan on doing more banded presses for now uh, to help get a little bit stronger so uh, they say that these banded lifts they work um, especially in that that speed uh, more of the tendons and stuff like that and it uh puts a different kind of stress on it other than your muscles but uh you know i, I posted a video before of doing deadlifts with the bands and you know some had one guy was talking about how the normal equals the same so if that's what you believe and you don't want to do any banded stuff you know nobody's making you do gosh darn things so just fucking who cares right uh lift how you want to lift if it keeps you being consistent um you know do it keep being consistent and that's the only way to get stronger right uh, um but if you were curious and wanted to try this in to try a different uh, uh variation and also a different way to challenge yourself um you know this is something to do especially if you plan on having like deloads maybe it makes bench pressing a little bit more fun for you and stuff like that so uh, if it if it works for you do it if it doesn't work for you stop doing it right do something else maybe you're missing something else but um, even though that's the end of the bench press that does, that's not the end of the workout so um, I'm gonna do some some stuff for my shoulders and uh, hit, hit those accessories right uh, do some of these accessory lifts that I know certain areas that are bugging me uh, for example my shoulder and uh, stuff like that so I'll do the shoulder and then I'm gonna do some more tricep work because I just it's been a while since I hit some triceps and I love hitting the triceps so triceps is a big part of the bench press also so um, I've always had small triceps so uh, 
I've been I've been trying I've been hitting those hard um, especially the last time I was lifting pretty seriously so um, I want to get those get that work in and get uh, those triceps as strong as possible and uh, I'll probably do some uh, bicep work also might as well hit the full arm and uh, you know stuff like that because uh, uh, believe it or not like the biceps they help a lot with uh, stabilizing the weight um, so um, I forget who it was, it was a YouTuber who was explaining that a little bit more and you know it might have been like uh, one of those guys that are he might be bald and uh, you know stuff like that and he's like a, a workout specialist I think he went to school for it and stuff like that I forget his name I used to watch him a lot Mike something I can't remember uh, pretty big YouTuber especially in the fitness world I just suck ass at remembering names but uh, anyways uh, I'm gonna hit those things and thanks for tuning in guys I appreciate it and I'll see you next workout video and if anybody wants to see any kind of accessory work uh, uh, hit me up let me know I'll show you those things uh, some of those works that I like to I like to do they work for me and that uh, you know uh, if you want to incorporate those into your own workouts, you know, do that. Um, I'm by no means an expert or anything like that. I just watch a lot of YouTube and, uh, you know, I read into a lot of things that uh, uh, to do and things like that and seeing a lot of points of views and trying a bunch of different shit, right? And um, it helped me a lot so far on lifting because uh, when I was younger, a lot of that information wasn't out there and I didn't know didn't know uh, squat diggity and stuff like that so and I still don't know you know what I mean uh, the great thing about lifting weights is you're constantly uh, learning new things and new ways to get stronger but at the end of the day it's just doing that work but anyways if you guys liked this video please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as well until uh, next time love you guys peace